Data from the Central Bank of Nigeria shows the country recorded a fresh high in remittance inflows, reaching $553 million in the month of July. Uh, this marks a 130% year-on-year increase. Uh, meanwhile, investors fixed their attention to the 409 billion naira T-bills auction today, as cautious trading remains the main sentiment given the large oversell at, the, at Monday's bond auction. Uzo Anakibe, the Treasury team member at Axis Bank, joins me now for more on the markets. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your time today, Uzo. It's been a busy Monday uh, in the markets. They're talking about the, the dollar bond opening there and also the bond auction overselling. Uh, let's get your take on the investor sentiments in the market this week. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Um, so opening with the week yesterday, um, on Monday, we saw system in liquidity open at the credit balance of 417 billion naira. However, we saw a significant decline yesterday of about 520 billion naira to close open yesterday's trading session at um, a repo of um, 100 billion naira. So um, this has um, consequently caused the overnight and opioid rates to um, decline by over 490 basis points to open um, close yesterday's trading session at um, 33 and 34 percent handles in the in the money market yesterday and we expect this to worsen today as we know that today is the bond auction settlement that is um, taking place um, that will happen today the bond auction that happened on monday will be settling today and also tomorrow we'll be seeing the ntb um, auction the successful ntb auction settlement to, to take place tomorrow and this is expected to also worsen the system liquidity in the market mm. Right. So on the on the FX space, we continue to see um, de a decline in the rate. Um, we know that earlier in this month, CBN um, conducted an Arudas um, retail auction where they sold over 800 billion in the market for market participants. However, we continue to see significant demand in the market. This continues to push um, the rate, um, not what. Um, also, yesterday, it's interesting to know, just like you already mentioned, that the central bank um, released a communication stating how much we've received from IM remittances um, in the period. This is very significant considering the effort the central bank has made in improving the diaspora remittances to the country. We saw about the central bank reporting that in the month of July we've received a total of over $500 million in remittances. Considering that the turnover in the official market for the month of July stood at $4.3 billion, this is a significant contribution of about 13% to the market and this is more like the works of the CBI has started paying off because we've mm -hmm. seen earlier in the year the governor made a commitment that we'll be able to double our remittances as a nation and then um, he put words to action by um, giving approval in principle to about 14 IMTOs. We've also continued to see um, some of the actions in the IMTO space just like um, removing the cap uh, allows them to trade freely in the market giving them access to Naira so that they will be able to quickly settle their um, obligations, their remittance obligations in the country. We are happy with this win in the FX markets as this continues to um, improve the supply in the market and continue to support the FPIs and the FDIs mm -hmm. who continue to um, inflow money to the country to help our current um, um, FX situation. I'd like to stay on the remittance story there because for me, it's uh, yes, we're seeing it's a, it's a very good we're seeing this sort of volumes come out for remittances here. But what does this say about the demand supply dynamics in the market here for FX? And uh, why are we not are we seeing this filter through to for local demand for FX? Yes, so we've continued to see um, increased demand in the FX market. Um, unfortunately, we are an import-dependent country, so we continue to have um, a lot of um, payables as a nation. And um, some of the FPIs that uh, um, entered in the market at the early levels are, are exiting, so we continue mm -hmm. to see some pressure from from the locals as, um, and a few other um, outflows from the from the FPIs who are exiting at them um, yeah. maybe profitable levels so we'll, we'll continue to see this mixed sentiment in the next couple of months until the market is able to stabilize um, oh. and then we'll see the rate settle. All right then on the TBS auction for today uh, what are your expectations? Yes, we the uh, DMO is floating at, um, over 400 billion naira in T bills, and um, from the overselling the bond auction on Monday, most of the market participants are anticipating 
that um, rates will start coming down, considering that the inflation figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics has shown a decline, um, the first decline in, in the past 19 months. So we anticipate that there might be a slight decline in rates. Um, we are looking at something in the neighborhood of 50 to 25 basis points um, decline in the, in the discount rates on mm -hmm. in what the result for today. However, we we'll continue to see pockets of demand, especially in the long end of the NTB of um, and the OMO curve. We we'll continue to see some demands in the February 25 uh, maturity, where we see trades happening at them. Um, around them. Yesterday, trade happened on, on the OMO February 25 around them. Um, 23 percent handles, but we we'll continue to see some pressure in those long term debt um, bills. Most of the market participants are not willing to sell, though, because they expect that uh, rates will decline, so they would rather hold um, these bills until they see the outcome of the auction. But we, it's an interesting one for mm -hmm. us, and we ho wait mm -hmm. to see what um, the DMO would um, present as a result at the end of the. Um, trading session today. Yeah, like you rightly said, interesting times here in the markets, uh, in the fixed income and FX markets here in Nigeria. Uzo Anakiri, the Treasury team member at Axis Bank.